I want to move on to something. Just just in closing, I would mm-hmm. like to, I, I've sort of curated a few pictures off the internet that I want you to comment on. Can you do that? Okay. Yeah. How fun. Great. Okay. Let me share my screen with you. There we go. Let's see what let's see what this looks like to you. Can you see All that? All right. Yes. Cool. Okay. So what are we looking at here? And um, this I, bring back any memories. Yeah. So this was a uh, in London. Um, we have a London like a Forest City London Music Award. Mm-hmm. And um, at this particular award show, I was asked to have um, do a panel uh, soundcheck for success, which was talking about um, recovery, artists and recovery. Oh. And so this, yeah, so this was actually um, my first time ever on a stage telling people my story. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad I found that picture then. Yeah, it was. It was actually like, let's talk about. Um, some painful situations we've come through and how we got to the other side. Oh, by the way, these pictures are not in any kind of order. They're just random. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, number two. Yeah. So this was, uh, I did a, a thing with my friend Edward Platero and he gathered all a bunch of um, Ontario, our London, Ontario artists together. And we did a version of um, three little birds together and each person had a little guest spot on on the video to sing so i started the whole track by playing acoustic and singing and then everybody added their instruments as they went i think there was like 30 artists involved in this video did you actually play that was that actually your did was that actually recorded or or yeah so that's actually recorded so that's you recording it and before it was sent out to other people to add their instruments yep Fantastic. And live it, it, to a click. And, and, wow, isn't that cool? And and here we go again. Jack Richardson. There's a Randy Backman angle again. So Jack Richardson, um, that was the name of the, the music awards before it was the Forest City Music Awards. It was the Jack Richardson London Music Awards. And he was the person that we honored through these music awards. Well, he was very yeah. important. You know the song These Eyes by the Guess Who? Which These was, Eyes. Mm-hmm. A massive hit, right? Mm-hmm. They, they wrote that song, and nothing was happening. Jack Richardson was their producer. He mortgaged his house for that single. No way! So oh he, my God. he that single made the guess who he he wow. took a, he took a huge risk. Wow! It's amazing story. And then, of course, he went on. You know, he, he was uh, he was a mentor to a, a great you know, Bob Ezrin, who did Alice Cooper and all this. Right. Stuff. He right. started. He started an amazing thing. Anyway, next picture. Oh my! This was my band here in London, Ontario, and uh, these guys played with me for many years. Actually, on the keys is Adam Plant, guitar is Guy Miskelly, drums Bobby Reynolds, myself, and Ken the Zen on bass guitar. And again, Edward Platero was behind the, the filming of this one. And this was a music video shot on the rooftop in London, Ontario for Changing My Mind, a co-write with Jay Allen, another great songwriter from the area. Mm. Awesome. And I, I took this picture because just because I think it's awesome. Yeah, that is such a cool picture. That was on the stairs of a... Um, the, the There was a mental health institution in London... And they had uh, the ladies creating jewelry on the side to help with uh, go through their their recovery. And so this was a little building that they created all the jewelry inside, and they had created these stairs out of their jewels as well. Oh yeah, I just love all the the jewels and the fascia and all that stuff. It's just such a it's a cool shot. Very, yeah, that very one's cool uh, George uh, George Polio, I think is his name, and another great photographer in London. Yeah. And next. Yeah, these guys, the guys I played with, uh, they were on, they were the band for the Unveiling album as well as uh, Eleven album. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were also, the, like, we, we did all the arrangements in Bobby's Basement, the guy far back, right? He's the mm-hmm. drummer. We did all the arrangements for those albums at his house. Guy on guitar um, beside me and Ken the Zen with the beard. Uh, he was my touring mate for many, many years. Yeah, so I just recently w- uh, was nominated for these uh, International Singer Songwriter Awards. I got five nominations: Entertainer of the Year, Vocalist of the Year, Singer of the Year, Songwriter of the Year, and Music Video of the Year. 
So the uh, award show is, of course, on a long weekend in Canada, August 4th and 5th. It's in, it's in uh, Atlanta. I'm not going because I'm a working musician at work. <laughs> but, so you'll find out whether you win or not? A couple of my friends are going. So if I, if I do win, I hope they can accept an award on my behalf. So th that's when the awards are going to be drawn on the 4th and 5th? Yeah. And here's something that's dear to my heart. Blue Frog Studios. Yeah, <laughs> thanks to you, Mick, giving me a recommendation to the Blue Frog Studios. Uh, isn't that, isn't that a great gig? Yes, it's one a of the wonderful most unique gig. Gigs, one of the most unique gigs in the world. It was an awesome gig, and it was our first time playing there at that particular, it was like a couple of years ago, and I brought my BC band, and they were very impressed, and I felt like, okay, I'm on the right track. Thanks to Mick for suggesting me to play there. Yeah, awesome. well, they, yeah, they definitely loved you for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kelly and Juanita, you know, speak very highly of you, which is nice. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so uh, Unveiling was the last album I did with my Ontario band. Um, you know, we we really played a lot of shows together and we, we uh, were on the road a lot together and we really became a family. And it was sort of sad when it, when the uh, one member decided to step away. Um, it was a sad time, but also, uh, you know, change is inevitable and we must change in order to grow. So it was for the best, but this is the last album we did together as a band, Unveiling. What's that line they say? The only thing that doesn't change is change. That's that's right. Yeah. Now, in this picture, now you were sober in these days as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you surprised you started what year? 2012 uh no sorry 2016 okay next yeah this was the cd release party for um our sh our unveiling album and that was uh taken i i think i wore the same outfit in all five of my cd release parties so i think this one was taken in a theater in leamington ontario oh. that's yeah that's uh, it's a great outfit though <laughs> That was a Leslie special. She always tries to dress me all girly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everybody has their opinions of how I should dress. Lonnie thinks I should wear like white t-shirts, ripped jeans, and a leather coat. I kind of like that a little bit better. It's, it's more my style. Right. Uh, anyway, this is a uh, yeah. This this um, videographer from California. She and I worked together on a few things. One of them being a video for the stars. And this was a video for Into the Light. And she did an actual documentary about the making of this video. And it's called Behind the Light. And she did it mostly using selfie cams, this documentary. And it's pretty awesome. She's very artistic and beautiful. Stacy Polis is her name. Wow. Great story. This was the video shoot for You Don't Get My Love. And it was at an old train station in St. Thomas, Ontario. And yeah, this this was a really cool video concept by Edward Platero once again, genius. Um, he he had us um, set up in all sorts of different configurations as a band, like you know, we'd be set up traditionally, and then he would have the drums up in the front, then he'd have the drums over to the side, and he would just like we would be as he's moving the camera, we would be moving all the drums to the other side. It was a one shot. It was a one shot video, so he would just be walking around with the camera and we would be moving all the gear behind him into a new formation. It was wow. super, super cool. Wow. Yeah. I'll have, I'll have to check that out. Yeah. You don't get my love. This was a design actually by this little photo and this JPEG here was a design by a fan in Germany from a town called Schiesel. And this uh, lady's name is Anja Lohmann. And she owns a, a graphics design company out in Germany. And she just sent me this one day and she showed up at my show with, with it on a t-shirt. So I thought it was pretty awesome. The logo is designed by uh, my friend, Denny and Angie Gautier, and they're out of St. Thomas. And I, I love that logo because it's sort of a mashup of my signature and digital as well. I, yeah, I, I really like that as well. Whenever I put your songs into my iTunes to listen to when I, when we were doing the demos and stuff and I'd listen to them for reference, I always use that, that signature as, as the album cover on my, my iTunes for your demos. Very cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, this was the the last time I was uh, not sober. <laughs> My 11 CD release party. And uh, there I was playing with a cello, Christine Newland. Her and I played a song called The Promise, Tracy Chapman's The Promise, together. This is sort of a sad uh, memory for me, actually, because I, I learned this song for someone I, I truly loved. And that person was not there when I sang it to them. Mm. So, yeah, that was that's a bit of a sad memory. There she is, Robin McDonald on the drums, rockin' Robin. Her and I, we've been playing together for many years as a duo. Um, we've been, she was part of my Wednesday night Brantford gigs for many, many years. Her and I, um, we went on my first tour in, in Canada together, just as a duo, all the way across Canada, six-week tour. We survived. I don't, I don't remember any of it, but it was a blast. <laughs> and uh she's just been a longtime friend and this robin is going to europe with us this year oh good yeah and she also plays in my ontario band i don't know what that is uh i don't know what that is seska must be a, a show in check yeah that's a show in check mm -hmm. it was a tuesday night show at a pizza place and it was busy and uh a whole table of eight people. They had met me in Ontario and had come out to the show in Czech, in Czech to uh, cheer me on. And, you know, we didn't get a paid a lot of money, but we ate the best pizza of our lives that night. I remember it so good. <laughs> and this is a, a show in uh, Elmer, Ontario. And uh, they, it was, it was like put on by the culture club of Elmer it was one of my first gigs coming out of COVID. And it was, you know, pretty packed house, sold out show. Awesome. And once again, this last picture is just because I think it's awesome. That is Dan Beauchart's picture. And he used that in um, one of his magazines. I forget the name. 519 Magazine. And it was taken in Ipperwash area near Grand Bend. Mm -hmm. And he just said, you know, stand in these sunflowers and sing. So that's exactly what I was doing. And he caught me right when I was just about to take a breath. <laughs> it's a great shot. Just a great <laughs> moment in time. Yeah. Some people just have the eye. Well, that's, I, that, that'll be the last picture. So, um, <laughs> Hey, thanks. That was fun. Yeah. Walk well, down memory lane. I know. Well, it's just kind of fun. Cause I, usually I'd like to think that it would stir some memories for you.